Hello you beautiful people, it's Tooth here, Tooth Decay. Today we are in Halifax, which is proper in the heart of just Dino country. So maybe I should have said, what's happening people? If you like food reviews, supermarket comparisons, two good to go bags, 10 pound challenges, then get on over to Dino's channel. Great guy, loads of content, link below. I stayed for two nights at the Premier Inn Halifax South, which has a bit of a hotel, motel thing going on about it. It's also about a 40 minute walk back uptown to where McCafferty's is. Cost me about £5.50 in an Uber though, and you kind of had to do that because you've got a Brewer's Fair and a Mickey D's round here and not much else. McCafferty's was a recommendation from Just Dino, so I popped in for a Guinness and tried my hand at splitting the G. I kept overshooting the mark, so I had to keep trying, which felt like a good idea at the time. The next day I visited the Halifax gibbet, which was used to behead people from the 13th to the 17th centuries. It's different to a guillotine insofar as it's wedge shaped rather than triangle shaped and they were never really that sharp so they used to rely on the height and weight to more or less tear the person's head off rather than cut it off. The legend of the running man is explained here, whereby it was said that if people could run to the spot now inhabited by the running man pub just down the road, they'd be let go. I then went up to Beacon Hill to see the stunning views and West Yorkshire's beautiful and rugged terrain. There's a network of beacons on hills across the land and they really were used to send warning messages across fast distances. Proper Lord of the Rings style -y. That night I was back out on a town with a few of the locals. We started back at McCafferty's and then down to another little bar near the Peace Hall with this funky bottle ceiling and then we were actually into the Peace Hall to see the streets. This is a fantastic venue and it has loads of gigs on. It really was a great night out with proper northern hospitality. Can't beat it. The next day I had a few hours to kill before getting the train home, so I went back to have a look around the Peace Hall. It has loads of little independent shops here, and there are bars and cafes dotted around. It's just a really nice space to be in. You wouldn't want to visit this part of the world and not come and see it, put it that way. I wandered out to the Westgate Arcade because I was really craving a full English breakfast and a little restaurant called La Luna scored really high on Google. So in true Gary Eats style, I gave it a go. There's another great channel if you like restaurant and cafe reviews, Gary Eats. Link below. That, folks, one of the best breakfasts I've had for a very long time. So the toast was a bit of ciabatta and it was crisped up nicely, but not so much that you break your teeth. The beans were tomato-y and sweet and a nice thick sauce on them. The sausages were meaty and herby and had a really, really good flavour. The bacon was thick and salty and it almost seasoned the rest of the meal. The eggs were soft on top, but they were sort of like just set at the bottom so you had so it didn't matter which way you like your eggs they certainly weren't snotty at all the mushroom yeah all right i could take or leave mushrooms but this one was actually pretty good the tomato was cooked nicely it was just falling apart a couple of char marks would have been nice but look that's that's getting right down to the nitty-gritty now right so overall that for me was a, a, an outstanding breakfast and i've got the bill here so let's have a look so that breakfast with the added hash browns was 12 pound 50. it's 10 50 without the hash browns and then three pound 30 for the tea which, look, come on, you know you're gonna get stung for tea these days, right? Nobody sells it for 60p a cup anymore, but there was a pot with at least three cups in it. And to be fair, it was actually quite a nice tea. So, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna complain. So the whole bill came to 1580, and then they put, they did add on the optional service charge, which was one pound 58. So it was 17 pound 38. Now, if you just went in there and had the breakfast, no service charge, um, whether you added the hash browns or not, and the hash browns actually were really, really crispy. They were gorgeous. I, I, again, you know, I, I like a potato element on a breakfast. They were really good. So if you ignore the facts that I added that on, at £10.50, that is amazing value. I would definitely say go and have some of that. Even with the ash browns, two pound extra, I still think that is outstanding value. I look at like oh, some of the local cafes near me, and do you know what? You ain't getting away for less than a tenner, and most of the time it's absolute shite. So yeah, so if you happen to be up in Halifax and you're around the Peace Hall, definitely come to La Luna. It was an absolutely fantastic breakfast, one of the best I've had for a long, long time. All right, late as potatoes, off your pop 